Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Maddie. So a few weeks ago, I noticed that I had been getting a few questions um, about different things regarding my video making process, if that makes sense. I got a question about how I do my thumbnails and how I do my green screen work. So I put up a question poll on my Instagram story and I asked um, if you guys had any other questions about anything that goes on behind the scenes of making videos, basically. And I got a lot of great questions. So in this video, I will be answering those and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first question that I got a few times, like I said previously, is how I make thumbnails. So I make my thumbnails in Photoshop. Uh, I go up to New, make sure it's set to 1920 by 1080. After the Photoshop project is created, I go to my files, find the video that I'm making the thumbnail for, and open it up with QuickTime Player. And then I just go through it and find a part in the video that I want to use for the thumbnail. For my last stop motion, this was the shot that I used. And I screenshot it uh, by clicking Control Print Screen. And then I click Control V to paste the screenshot into Photoshop and I resize it. After that, if you guys have noticed, most of my thumbnails have some sort of text on them. I normally write the title of the video. So the way that I do that is it's not an actual font, although sometimes I do use real fonts in my thumbnails, but most of the time I just use my own handwriting. So using the drawing tool, I'll just go ahead and write the title of the video right over the screenshot on its own separate layer. And normally what I like to do is make a copy of that layer and paint it black so that I can put it underneath the white layer to give the title like a shadow effect. And then I'll just play around with it. Uh, sometimes I add a really thin black stroke to the white layer to make it look a little cooler. And this is what it normally ends up looking like. So after I've taken the screenshot and written the title, I export it as a JPEG file. And that is how I make thumbnails. The second question I'm going to be answering is about my green screen process and how I do my green screen work. So this is the green screen that I use. Uh, I believe it's from Amazon. One of the biggest tips that I have when you're using a green screen that I've learned is uh, it's really important to light both sides evenly. So I use box lights and I definitely recommend using them if you have them. And once I have the camera and the lights all set up, I start filming. All right, so now I'm going to show how I do the actual green screen effect in the editing program that I use. By the way, I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos. The first thing I do is import the photos, and I have a whole video on my channel from a few months ago called My Stop Motion Process. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I edit my stop motions in a little more detail, uh, definitely go check out that video. All right, so this is the green screen clip without any effects added to it. And then this is the photo I decided to use as the background. I just downloaded it from Google. And I'm going to drag the photo from my files into the project, uh, just making sure that it's underneath the stop motion clip. Now I'm going to select the stop motion clip, go to effects, video effects, keying, and ultra key. Once you select ultra key, uh, this little pen icon will pop up right here. You can click that and select anywhere in the photo where it's green. So I'm just going to click right here and then as you can see, the background comes through. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> After that, I go back to effect controls and under matte generation, there's a tool called pedestal. If you turn that all the way up, um, it kind of gets rid of the shadows and it makes the green screen look a lot more realistic. So real quick, I'm going to go through the same process with this clip. And the next thing I want to do is edit out this part because when I was filming this, um, the green screen didn't fully take up the entire frame, if that makes sense. So in the corners, you can see like the background. So to fix that, I'm going to select this clip and in effect controls under opacity, I'm going to click this icon and that will create what's called a mask. And this is a little bit difficult to explain, but I'm going to create a box inside of the frame that only includes the parts of the frame that I want you to be able to see. So when I build the box, I'm going to avoid those corners corners where you could see the background. And then I'm going to copy and paste the mask to the other clip. So when I finally finish all of that, this is what it looks like. Obviously it looks a little weird, it looks like she's walking on air, so I'm just going to go ahead and resize this real quick. And this is the final result. So going back to this question, I wanted to show how I did this where it looks like Emily is coming around the corner. So once again, I'm going to import the photos and go through the same process that I did with the other two clips. And then I'm going to move the clip over and do a little resizing. 
and now here's the interesting part. I'm going to create a mask just like I did for the other two clips, but instead of just cutting out the corners where you can see the background, I'm also going to cut out the part of her body that's overlapping the display case. So instead of looking like she's in front of the display case, it'll look like she's coming out from behind it. And this is the final result. So that is my green screen process. I really hope this helped. All right, so the third question is, can you show how you edit your handout if it's not on something easy like wood? And this is actually a really good question because in my last stop motion, there was a shot where Oakley was holding the pie and then she tripped over the dog and dropped it. And when I was actually filming that, I had to use a piece of string to hold up the pie to make it look like it was like in midair basically. And I had to obviously edit the string out, so I will show you guys how I do that. Okay, so this is one of the photos from that shot. And as you can see, I used a piece of string to hold the pie up. So the way that I'm going to edit that out is I'm going to take another photo from the same shot. So the camera's still in the same position, but it's a separate photo. So this is a little difficult to explain. I'm sorry if it's confusing, but basically what I'm going to do is erase every part of this photo except the part that I need to cover up the piece of string. So what I'm really doing is just using a small section of the second photo to cover up the string in the first photo. This is before and this is after. And that is how I edit things out of my photos and stop motions. The next question is, where do you get inspiration for your videos? I love your channel and setups. First of all, thank you so much. To be honest, the reason I don't upload that much is because I don't have video ideas. <laughs> like, it's it's hard to come up with ideas sometimes. I get inspiration most of the time from watching other AGTubers videos. And I don't know if this is exactly what you meant by the question, but the way that I come up with stop motion ideas most of the time is I will uh, look at a prop in my dollhouse and try to come up with a storyline that's like centered around the prop. Like for example, my last stop motion, the pie predicament, I realized that I had two doll sized pies and then that's how I came up with the storyline. So that is how I get inspiration for my videos. The next question, it's a little bit similar. It says, how do you get motivation to film? I'm always losing motivation constantly. I totally get that. I'm definitely not always motivated to film videos, um, but what I really like to do to get motivation is to read my comments. I know this sounds cheesy, but like I'm so happy that I get to be a part of the AGTube community because everybody is always so sweet and supportive. So yeah, sometimes if I'm ever like in a creative slump and I'm not really motivated to film videos, I like to read my comments and sometimes I'll go back and watch some of my old videos and I'll remember like, oh, I remember how excited I was to upload this video and share it with everybody. And that gives me a little bit of, you know, motivation to film another video. All right, the last question, I was actually gonna answer this at the beginning, but I forgot. It says, what do you use to edit and what camera do you have? I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos and I film with a Canon 70D. So those are all the questions. Um, if you put a question in my Instagram poll and I didn't answer it in this video, it's probably because I answered it in one of my other videos. I think I talked about this earlier in this video, but it's called my stop motion process. And I go over like how I write scripts, how I film, how I edit, all of that stuff. So if you'd like to see a more in-depth video about how I edit, um, definitely check out that one because I explained it in a lot more detail. So that is all for this video. If you guys have any other questions that I didn't answer in this video or the other one, uh, leave them in the comment section and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.